Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So now here we are designing the courses, right? So here I will add a new select box to in order to change the status of a single course. So here I will be adding a div. Okay. And in this div I will add a select box. Select box. And this select box we will be having a class of form control. Class is equal to form control. I will be having this one class form control and we will be having different options option sorry option option value is equal to active I will have one thing active and here I will add an active and another one is inactive I will add the inactive and here also you will take it as an inactive and the last one is the draft let's say that it's a draft so here I will add draft Okay, these are the three status for this one and I will add a button also button update status. So let's try to see the output. If you try to see the output. So for each courses, we will be able to see a status and an option to update the status. Let's try to use the bootstrap classes. That is nothing but class is equal to um, what I can say btn btn hyphen primary. I am adding this one. Let's see the output. So here if you try to see the courses you will be having update status. If I change here to inactive and if I click on the update status. So this one status should be updated. Somehow we will be showing the status here. The present status we will try to show it. Uh, beside the here the course name I will add a span. Okay. And here I will add the course dot status. So I will use this course dot status. And here I will use the class is equal to label label iphone default or anything whichever it will be so i am using the label label iphone default okay so we'll try to design this one all so that is a different thing we'll try to do it so now we have added this one all right so now if you try to see here i am able to see the active if i try to change this one to inactive and if i click on the update status so this one code should be the status should be updated now let's go to the code here so now we have got this code. Now some somehow if you click on this one, I need to update the status. So that means on status update. Okay. So somehow we need to catch this one. We'll use the view chain scenario. So that is nothing but status ref. I am using this element ref. Now here let's go to the course.component.ts. I am using the view chain here. Let's go into this one. Co not courses, course. Yeah, here it is having and here I will write at the rate view child let's import this one so view child should be imported from the angular core so view child it is taking so much of time or otherwise we'll write it uh, yeah here I can use the status ref so we are not getting anything status ref and here the same thing I will use it that is of type element ref and it should it is of type html select element okay so this is the code i am trying to write it now if you go into this one so we need to import the view child from here view child and also we need to import the element ref okay so that's it so we have imported the status ref and also the element ref also we have imported it now what I want to do, so we have a method on status update, okay, this one is error element ref on status update, I am using this on status update, first we need to get the uh, selected value, selected value means I mean to say nah, the yeah, selected value, constant selected value is equal to uh, this dot status ref dot native element dot value okay so we got the value and what i need to do i need to send this status update to where i need to send it to the uh, to the component where we have used it for this one we need to use the output parameter output um, status updated is equal to new event emitter so this should be imported from the angular core and this sends the string object and like this we need to have 
so this output also should be imported from the uh, what i want to say is from the angular code yeah fine now i need to send this one this dot status updated dot emit of i need to send the selected value that's it so now if you try to see the output here somehow we will be able to send the status update so here i will i need to send the status update so here it is trying to send the status update now how we need to catch this event emitter so let's go to the courses dot component dot html here we need to catch it so here i can write something like status updated is equal to on status update of dollar event so we can get it we can get the data whatever you, you are getting so you through the dollar event so let's go to this one in the courses dot component dot cs so here i will be writing the same code on status update so here i will be having the new value which is of type string so we can write it like this and here let's try to do the console dot log of new value so we need to get the value new value let's try to see it here on status update right on status update now if you try to see here courses yeah here also we can write it on status update that's it now if you try to see the output for this one let's go into this one and i am doing the inspect element so in the inspect element if i try to change it to inactive and if i click on this update status immediately i need to get the value so here i am able to get the value now i need to update the status for this particular course so how can i update this status for this particular course so we need to catch the index for this one so let's go to the courses.component.cs or html so here we are looping over this one right so we are we can use this let i is equal to index so we can get each one index and i can pass this i here that's it so this is very simple so here i will be able to get the index value index of type number so this is of type number so now we got the courses so what i can do is we have the courses and we know the particular index that is nothing but index and i need to update the status to the new value that's it sorry new value that's it so we can update the value so simple we can do it we can do we can update this one if you try to see the output now it will work as usual only now if i try to do inactive and if i click on update status see inactive it has been updated to inactive and if i want to change this one to draft means so this will be changed to draft here and if i want to change it this one to inactive means automatically this one will be changed to inactive so this is how we can use the event emitter to update the parent data now what we have did it here in our child component in the course.component.html we have created a select box and on clicking and we are we are trying to update the status in the single course.component.cs we are creating a new event emitter and we are catching the select box element whatever the user has selected upon clicking on the update status button i am emitting this selected value to the parent component so here in the parent component here i am catching that one here in the parent component i am catching that one and i am sending the and i am uh, um, triggering the method present in the courses on status update and i am sending the new value and for which key for which uh, object i want to update it in the courses.component.cs i automatically i am catching the values and i am updating it directly so this is how we will be updating the code updating the status for this one so now what i will try to do is i will i will commit this code in a new branch video hyphen 16 now here we have used this event emitter event emitter to update course right so let's commit this all the code and let's publish this branch so if you want to have reference to this code if you are having any doubts or anything in the middle so you can have this github repository url the github repository url will be provided in the description below of the video whatever the video you are trying to watch so you can go to that particular branch and you can check the code for this one the same code will be there whatever the code i am trying to write it so that's it guys so this is how we will be using the event emitter to update the status for each course hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you